everyone, this is Beth with All Area Light. Hope everybody's doing okay. Blessings. I want to do a couple of more readings today on the upcoming, um, how the states, the battleground states are going to go and how some of the Senate races are. But I want to start off with um, Mitch McConnell today. Uh, there have been video um, photos of him over the last couple of days his hand just looks like so bruised and black and bruises on his face and so there is some concern about health and maybe he's covering something up he's trying to keep it covered up before the election or an accident or something did something happen um and then maybe that'll segue into his race with amy mcgrath um so i'm just going to listen to the guides for a moment and see what they want me to tell you about Mitch McConnell's health. So what I'm hearing is he is struggling. Okay, hold on. Let me see if something happened. I think he may have taken a fall of some kind. Um, now I know he had polio as a child and he's fallen before, right? So I definitely feel um, he may have fallen again, but there's more going on than that. So I feel some kind of treatment. So we had some kind of treatment and maybe because of the fall or because I feel like him lurching forward. So if it wasn't a fall, it was, an, it was a car accident. It was something like that, a fall, a car accident, because I feel like a lurching forward and a um, maybe a handout. And then I feel like he's, so I feel like there's more than one thing going on with him. I feel like it was either a fall, car accident, and that he's had some kind of treatment. Now, I think he may be on, maybe on blood thinners, which would cause pretty heavy bruising in his hand. Okay, hold on a second. I'm really wondering if he hadn't developed, um clots of some kind and he's on blood thinners because I'm seeing like well I'm seeing clots I don't know what else to say I'm seeing like blood and I'm seeing clots so it wouldn't surprise me if he's on some kind of blood thinners I think there was either he either he lurched forward in some way whether it was an accident or a car accident whether he tripped fell or it was an accident car accident of some kind I feel him lurching forward like I get this real distinct m motion going forward with him but they're telling me his health is getting very precarious. You know, he's been frantically working to pad as many people on the courts as he can um, over the last years and then the obstruction before that. Um, because he sees that as his legacy. That's his big legacy. He's so proud and he's puffed up about it. Like I get like a puffed upness about it. Um, but it's really, I don't know how else to say this <laughs> because I feel like his energy has, he's rotting in some way, right? Like his internal self is very Machiavellian and it, it's like a rotting, like he's rotting. He's, he's just, his intentions haven't been good and he's just the power, he feels puffed up and he really has gotten into this power of his position and the influence he's had. And um, he's not doing well physically. And I do feel like there's conditions going on that if came out might, might influence the race. And unfortunately, I don't know that they're going to come out before um, the election, the, the election um, November 3rd. Hold on. They're not coming, they're telling me they're not coming out in time enough to influence the elections. That's what I'm hearing. It's like, I'm seeing it like ti the timing's off, but I think more things are going to come out about him. Now, hold on a second. I seriously doubt that he will be in the Senate. I don't want to, I will say in the Senate. I'll say it that way. <laughs> Two years, maybe. Like, he's not going to be doing well. I don't see him making, serving out his full term. I'd be very surprised if he serves out his full term. Now, if he was a, a man of 
integrity, he would probably retire, but we know that's not going to happen. He will hang in until the bitter end. But it's almost like I feel something happening within two years with his health, maybe sooner, but that's what I'm getting. And I am seeing something clotty in him. I think it's um, blood clots or, I don't think it's cancer, but it feels, I see clots, so I don't know, unless that's some kind of cancerous thing um, developing, that's how I'm seeing it, okay? Um, now let me go into the race in Kentucky with Amy McGrath. So she's um, been just like scrambling. Like I see, um, I see somebody going over an obstacle course um, with her. Like she's been going and rushing and going over, climbing up those little obstacle course walls and and doing the rope thing. And she's just frantically trying to get over it, right? Um, but it's like she's come up against one really big, like I see it like it's in my, in, the way the guides are showing it, it's like this wall of wood <laughs> and there's a rope and it's slick. Like it almost feels like it's raining or it's something's pouring down on it, okay? Um, now I think it's symbolic of money because <laughs> I feel it like money pouring down from all the people donating to her so she's stepping on it to try to get a, a, a higher before she starts, before she climbs it. But at the same time, there's stuff coming down at her that I feel like is from the Republicans and Mitch McConnell. She's, she's dealing with um, his entrenchedness she, and she's dealing with misogyny. So I'm feeling like, I'm going to be honest, I think when it came down to overtaking him in the um, race, the other gentleman, and I cannot even remember his name, it was an African-American gentleman who ran, would have probably stood a better chance because I feel like the misogyny piece is cutting, cutting her with some, undercutting her with some entrenched voters that may, you know, here we are, right? Women's in politics in this country seem like they have a lot to overcome. Um, it's almost like a man, even an African-American man, would have stood a better chance. But that's neither here nor there. That's just the way that they're showing it to me. I don't think she's going to be able to make it over. Like, I see her going up, but she, like she's halfway, and she can't get further. She's going to come close, but no cigar, I guess is the expression. But I don't think Mitch is going to be around that much into the next term. I don't see him making it to 2024. I'm getting his health, his health is going to really affect him um, in the next couple of years. And frankly, he's got some karma, you know, <laughs> he's got some karma coming his way too. Um, and they are definitely not letting out really the, the, fragileness I think of his health because I think if they did it could be the thing that would um lead to his downfall but I don't think we're going to hear about it before the election so I think I'm just going to stop this particular video right now about Mitch and um do another one about others <laughs>